Lies of P the Bloodborne 2 sequel that we've always wanted? Yes, well, kind of. Let me explain it to you nice and slow like, all right there, partners? Lies of P is a game where you basically play as Pinocchio. It covers the same kind of story. You got Geppetto, you got Jiminy, also known as Gemini. I thought his name was Gemini, Gemini. I don't know. Anyway, it kind of follows the same kind of basic premise and story as Pinocchio, except things are obviously fucked up. This feels like a FromSoft game through and through, except it's not. It's developed by a Korean studio that had literally no history of making games like this, and somehow they completely knocked it out of the fucking park. I'm saying straight up, this is one of the best games I've played this year. This is a fantastic game, and I love every single thing about it. Does it have issues? Sure, of course. I mean, what game doesn't? I mean, other than The Last of Us Part 2, but let's be real here. It's an incredible game. From literally start to finish, I loved it. Not only does the world look amazing, not only do the graphics absolutely blow you away, but this game's just got the FromSoft it factor. It's fun to play, the combat's exciting, the enemy design is great, and the game is just good. Yeah, sure, it's missing a little bit of that FromSoft level design, you know? It doesn't have those kind of deep level intricacies. It doesn't have those crazy shortcuts. It doesn't have such an extreme level of exploration, especially because the levels are in general smaller, but they are awesome. And the world just looks awesome. It's great to be in, it's great to play, it's fun, it's awesome. I highly recommend it, but wait. All right, that's not the end of the video, so don't get your freaking panties in a knot, motherfuckers. Here's what I'm saying to you right now, right? Lies of P, to break it down to straight up basics, all right? It's basically got the look and feel of Bloodborne, except it plays like Sekiro. And what I mean by that is that this game is literally based on parrying. If you can't parry, you're gonna have a straight up bad time with this one. This entire game is based on parrying. You got a perfect parry. And a perfect parry is basically when the enemy's about to attack you and it's a split second away from hitting, you freaking block them. You straight up block them and it does a big like whaching sound and you did a perfect parry. When you do a perfect parry, you take no damage. If you fuck up your perfect parry and you just block, you take some damage, but not full damage. When they do a super red hit like this, like a power attack, if you do not perfect parry this, you're getting fucked up, my man, and it's gonna suck. You'd think you'd be able to dodge on most things, but this game is not like Dark Souls in that way, where Dark Souls and Sekiro and Bloodborne and things like that have iframes, aka invincibility frames. Times where you can dodge and you basically just glide through swords or objects or whatever. You don't really have to worry about anything that's attacking you because while you're dodging, you're invincible. Not in this game, all right? While you're dodging, you're fucking straight up up in the open. You're ready to get hit by literally anything that comes your way. And this game has absolutely no poise, meaning that when you are attacking, if you take literally even one damage, you will stop attacking. Which is kind of fucked up and kind of really annoying when you're trying to attack a guy who's attacking extremely fast and you're using a weapon that's a little bit slow, so it takes you longer to attack him than it does for him to attack you, and now you're just kind of fucked because it's like every time you try to attack, you just get knocked out of your attack and you can't do shit. That sucks. That's part of the game. You gotta deal with it. You gotta learn how to maneuver around it. You gotta figure out how to beat the boss even when that's happening. It's difficult, and the way to do that is by perfect parrying every single fucking thing that they throw at you so that they get staggered and that you can fuck their their shit up. Is this game difficult? Absolutely. I'd honestly say that it's harder than some of the FromSoft games. Not in terms of general kind of the entire thing, but some of these bosses just like to absolutely fuck your shit up. And it's because all of the bosses have delayed attacks, which is something that feels like it came up pretty recently, especially in Elden Ring, where most bosses attacked you very, very delayed. You think you know their pattern, you think they know how they're gonna attack, except they throw in a two to three second pause every time they're about to attack you, so you don't know when you're supposed to block, when you're supposed to dodge, when you're supposed to burn for parry, and you just get hit. It sucks, but you learn it pretty quick and you learn how to memorize their attack patterns pretty quick and you learn how to get through it pretty quickly. It's just about, you know, combat by attempts, you know? You gotta do it a few times to really figure it out. And it, it can be a bit of a hassle, it can be difficult, but sometimes you just nail it. You just go right into it, ping, 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 ping. You block everything, you kill him, you beat the boss, you feel fucking good. And that's another thing too. This game really has that from soft style where when you beat a boss, you feel good, man. You feel like you accomplished something. You feel like you really did something good. And I know a lot of people can't handle it. A lot of people can't take the heat. A lot of people don't want the heat. A lot of people just want an easy experience where they could just breeze through it and they could just have a good time and they don't really gotta worry about shit getting fucked up for them. But in this game, shit is gonna get fucked up for you. You're not gonna have an easy experience and it's not gonna be easy at first. You're gonna have a rough time. You're gonna have to learn how to figure it out and you're gonna have to learn how to play the game the way the game wants to be played. 
That's what this game is. And it's kind of like Armored Core in that way and like Sekiro, where the game is basically setting you up to play a very, very specific way. And if you can't play that way, you're gonna have a really bad time, dude. You gotta play how it wants. Which obviously for some people is not a good thing. A lot of people go into these types of games because they want the experience of playing how they want. They choose their weapons, they go into it with their build, and they kind of go into it full force playing how they want to play, whether they're extra aggressive or more defensive, whatever. This game, you kind of don't really have that option. You kind of got to go parry, 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 attack when you can. And it really forces you in that very specific way of playing. And if you don't like it, you're honestly probably not gonna like the game. But besides that, this game does basically everything right. I mean, realistically, if you were to just jump into this game out of nowhere, you had no idea who made the game, you had no idea what the backstory was to it, and you just hopped in for the first time, you would think that this was literally a brand new game for FromSoft. You might notice the very small differences because there are those differences that and that's why it's separated from realistically as high level as a FromSoft game. But even with those things, this game absolutely stands up. It is 100% the best Souls-like I have ever played. Played. Meaning that it's not a Souls game, but it's a Souls-like. It's similar to those types of games, but it's made by somebody else. It's got its differences. And usually those types of games, Souls-likes, never live up to the hype. Never. Literally never. They they usually don't even come close. They're always like kind of mid-tier. They pull off a few things, but realistically, they're not that good. This one is good, and it stands up with the best. I'm telling you straight up, this is a fantastic game. And honestly, it's getting me even more excited for Lords of the Fallen, which looks like another game that is completely 100% adapted from Soft's playing style, and they've figured out a way to make an incredible game just based off, I mean, just by looking at it. I got really, really high hopes for that, which also I didn't have for Liza P at the beginning. I had some hopes for the game, and then when I played the demo, I was like, this is good, and it's getting some things right, but it doesn't quite have that magic. And now that I'm actually playing it, and I'm gonna beat it, Oh my God, dude, this game is absolutely fantastic. If you like FromSoft, if you like Dark Souls, if you like Demon Souls, if you love Bloodborne, if you love Sekiro, this is the game that you've been waiting for. It feels so unique, so fresh, and it just feels good. Now, I shouldn't really say unique because it feels like those games, it just feels like a, a new version of those games with its own kind of twists and turns, but it is so damn good. You will love this game. You'll love it, you'll straight up love it. If you, if you don't want a challenge, okay, then avoid this game because it is challenging. It's not super hard, but some of the bosses make you wanna fucking, you know, dive off a cliff. And that's what happens in these kind of games. It happens. But none of the bosses in this game are anywhere close to Melania Blade of Mikola. So if you got through that in Elden Ring, you won't have anything to worry about in this because you'll be able to figure it out. You'll be frustrated, you'll be pissed off, but you'll overcome it and you'll be like, game's so fucking easy. I can handle anything this thing throws at me. Realistically, what I'm trying to say is that it's a game that's absolutely worth playing and you should 100% play it. Liza P is the Bloodborne sequel that we've been waiting for and it is a fantastic game. Pick it up, play it, it's on Game Pass, you won't be disappointed. Liza P, Liza Pinocchio, the name is stupid. Let's just be honest, Liza P, come on. Liza P, Liza P, P, P.